no matter what you want to buy. You'll find it all on the hub. The SME Market Hub. Buy, sell, list, connect. <laughs> Life is in your hands. I got engaged with the project seven years ago. It took seven years to make the film for two reasons. One was the nature of how it was funded. And um, we knew going in it was going to take a bit of time to, to make it because we didn't have all of the money in one go. For me it was a long hard lesson in patience, you know, um, and the fact that it's my first film is originally my first film. Um, so yeah, it's I, I pick a lot of sentiments with the project. To do what we needed to do, therefore, we decided to shoot, take a break, raise more money, shoot, take a break, raise more money, and undo that. So that in itself contributed to how long it took. It was absolutely beautiful working on the project. It was just nice, knowing that you're part of a production that knows what they're doing, you know, it's artistically um, sound, uh, financially it was okay, the remuneration was all right. So everything just worked together and uh, it was a brilliant experience. But then also how we wanted to finish the film in terms of the post-production also you know, took a bit of time in terms of um, creating the music of the film, uh, doing the picture grade and picture post, finishing all the foley for the, for the sound and doing the final mix for the sound and all of that. So that as well took time. We've got 10 minutes. So Kim's attention is drawn to him. So as Kim is talking to him, you sit down. Playing the character, Kim Dakim, uh, who's a young lawyer who finds himself at a crossroads of making a good decision to save lives or to put some money in his pocket. Uh, for me, I think the script had uh, most of the elements or most of the material that I needed to work with. It was just a little of Gideon had to come to the table. There's nothing I can do to stop it. The system that should stop them is already compromised. And I'm not the one to grow a conscience over it. You don't know who you are playing with, huh? Oh, of course I do. You're a crook. Playing the role of Jokwa Okongwa was um, a bit challenging. Um, wasn't like the normal run of the mill bad boys that one was given to playing at times. In playing that, I had to do a bit of research, um, ask questions, um, do some observation of people's mannerism, and um, that was just that was a what was a bit most quite challenging. Steve Gook has a director with a very keen eye for detail, so he had to um, employ stunt drivers to do that. I wish I could take credit for. <laughs> for doing the stunts in the film, but uh, as you may know, I had to drive up to some point and then hand it over to the, to the professionals to do it. Actually, we didn't even quite achieve what we wanted to achieve in the stunts, because uh, the car was supposed to go up a ramp, veer off and turn over. Uh, but it didn't quite do that, but still, we got something you know, out of it. Steve is uh, a calm guy, he's a calm director, very calm. Um, he knows what he wants, so, so he takes his time to de describe to you what he wants and how he wants it done. And uh, he also gives the actor the room to express. When it comes to, to, to music and the orchestral template for a score, um, all of that could have been done, you know, just off of the computer as well. Uh, and you would get something like that, but you really do not get the same level of um, emotional connection and the different instrumentation that, that, that pulled together to create the piece uh, could not really have been achieved, you know, using any, any less uh, um, um, a number of people. Working with veterans, Shegor Arinze, J.J. Lewis, even my friend Yemi Black, um, I had always admired these guys, I always watched them on screen growing up. Uh, for me, it was, 
it was an honor to share the to, to share the screen with them. It was an entire evolution. We had to evolve. We kept on evolving, and also had to struggle with keep making sure that the actor the lead didn't add weight along the line. Because if it, if it added weight, that would have been some continuity problem. The fact that it took so long to make the movie and they all stayed with the project says something for what they saw in the project and says something for them as actors and as human beings as well. The kind of story that we're trying to tell, a place in the star, who do you think has a place in the, in the stars in your mind? Papa, how are stars formed? When one is good, honest, and unselfish in all their dealings, they are given a place in the stars and they go on to be a guiding light to all of us on Earth so that we do not err from the path of goodness. Because this movie was inspired, you know, uh, by my encounter with Dora Community, I would say Dora Community deserves a place in the stars. What he has done is a love letter to my mother, to what she has done for the country. I've seen the trailer, I've seen it on Twitter, Instagram, I've seen the excitement. In fact, I'm excited. I want to see more, I want to see the whole movie. I want to expect to see some amazing, um, great pictures, um, something really unique that is coming from somebody as great as uh, Steven Gukas. You disappoint me. Money isn't worth much if you can't face yourself in the mirror. This is my opportunity to take my share, and I'm going to take it. Even at the risk of your own life. I think it, it, it was not just message driven, but also a very good movie in terms of production. The film, the movie was brilliant. It was brilliant, unique. Yeah, we should use entertainment to pass message. You know, it's something I like, whether it's a movie, it's a song, whatever it is you're doing to entertain people, you also have to pass the message. Yeah. I'm, I'm impressed. You know, the camera shots were on point. Um, the accident scene, it looked so real. Like, I had goose pimples. It looked so real. And I mean, at the end of the day, that's what we as actors look forward to. You know, that's the only reason why we'll come out of our comfort zones to go to the cinemas to watch films, to watch movies like this, because we need them to play with our emotions at the end of the day, you know, so fantastic, good job. I'd rather die a rich young man than a poor old man. Hi, I'm Onos, and if you did enjoy that video, which I know you did, you better subscribe to our channel and you can watch more videos too.